Today I'm going to show you exactly how I made this adorable set of Valentine's Day nails. So let's not waste any time. Roll the intro! Welcome back to the Pomchi Pack. If you are new here, welcome. Most of you are new to my living room. Welcome to my living room. Today is kind of going to be a more casual video. I wanted to get this done before Valentine's Day for obvious reasons because I wanted to show you this little Valentine's Day set of nails. I'm going to show you how I did two of them since a couple of them are pretty self-explanatory. I will show you how I do this little French tip design and as well I will show you how I did this simple bear design nail. Pretty straightforward as I said, but let's go over the materials that you'll need today. So first and foremost, for the French tip one, I really like having this little gel squishy thing. I'm not really quite sure the name of it. I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down in the description. It came in a pack of two, so you have this one that you can see through the top, and then you have this one that you can lay on the table and just stick your finger in it. It's really straightforward, super easy to use if you do your own nails. I highly recommend it. Next, for the French tip design, I highly suggest getting this gel polish that's kind of transparent. It works really well for French tips because it does give you that nice soft pink look to French tips, but it also helps the gel stick so that you're not just putting it straight on a base coat. Next, for the French tips, I will be using this light pink color. I will be using this light pink color on the tips. Pink and red are great Valentine's Day colors, so I decided to do red for a little accent underneath the French tip. I'll be using this little straight line brush for a little bit of the line work on the French tip, but nothing crazy. All of the stuff that I'm showing you, by no surprise, is all from Amazon, so I will link it down in the description if I can find the link for it. And then lastly, I have these two nail art dot things. <laughs> these work great for making the heart at the end, so if you don't have one, you can use a toothpick or something, but these do work great. Since I do nails a lot, I got these for myself, and they work great. I got two different sets, and I'll put them both in the description box below if I can find both. But I think that's everything that we need to go over. So let's make some fun Valentine's Day nails, shall we? So nail one done, off to the second design as well. The two colors that you'll need differently from the first nail. This brown is a really good one and I will use it for the background. For the actual bear, I will use the same pink that I used on my French tips. And then for the heart, I will use this red again. Now the two things that you'll need as far as nail art tools for this second design is going to be the line art brush and one of these little dot pencils. <laughs> Nail dot -er. <laughs> So let's work on design number two. So first I'm going to start with this brown. A pro tip for nails as well is to do several thin layers instead of doing a couple thick layers if that makes sense. It makes your nails look much more professional and makes them less lumpy and clumpy in the end. Also, don't forget to cap the top of your nails, making sure to get color all the way around the edges as well, since gel polish can have a tendency to lift if you don't properly cap the edges. And with every layer, I make sure to clean around the cuticles, making sure that I don't leave any polish behind, because any on the cuticles can also encourage the nail polish to lift. And I repeat this about two, three, four times, curing each time for about 60 to 90 seconds.
it's as simple as that. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Valentine's Day nail tutorial. If you did enjoy this video, let me know because I do do my nails frequently and they are frequently festive. I do share posts on my community posts on YouTube, so if you do want to see my nails in the future for future holidays, definitely subscribe so you can see those community posts. And if you see some that you like and you would like to see a video on, let me know and comment on it and like it so that I know to make a video for you because that's exactly what happened with this one. But as I said, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed being in my living room. It is terrible lighting and the quality is not super great, but I hope that you enjoyed it nonetheless. So thank you so much for joining me today. Make it a great week by trying something new and I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye for now.